This is going to be another one of those extra large rafts. But uh, as you can see, some of these on the end actually kind of missed hitting the outside border. That's actually been a uh, regular theme. Uh, but some of the edges catch just fine. Here's a lens cap holder that I just finished printing. It's got quite a few issues on the inside edge. It's not showing up on the film here, but uh, it's basically not even connected all the way around in here. It's just barely connected in a few spots. And there's an issue with the raft and that it's actually printing off the edge of the raft. And obviously it's getting warped when it does that. And then this whole edge of the raft has some very odd things going on. And just a print from the other day, this is from the bolt. I tried printing. I actually did tried this three times, and all three times I got a raft that looked like that. I initially thought it was because it wasn't sticking to the bed, but that's not the issue. It's literally printing it like that on purpose for some reason. And here's an overview of some things I printed so far. This is the thumb nut that I tried printing earlier that actually just kind of fell apart just playing with it. Uh, here's a different nut and bolt I tried printing. The head just broke off. I printed this with uh, medium resolution and no infill but thick walls. The nut actually works but it just isn't strong enough to uh, hold together at all. That actually broke off as I was pulling it off the raft. <clears throat> uh, this is a cable chain that I tried to print. Uh, the actual print seemed to come out fine but uh, snapping them together they just broke. Uh, the ones that's together now uh, one is not completely broke off, but it's cracked. Here's a pulley that actually turned out pretty well. That is uh, no infill, just thick walls, uh, medium print resolution, and it's actually pretty tough. Uh, don't really see any issues with that. Uh, this geared heart seemed to come out pretty well. Uh, those are supposed to snap on there, but I can't force them to snap. At least not without pressing so hard that I think it's going to break. Here was an attempt at an Eiffel Tower model. And the big problem here is the support material is uh, it's on too solid. I can't get it off without uh, risking breaking the model there. And this is the second piece of the Eiffel Tower and that's all film material on the inside and I just don't really even have a way of getting it out. Uh, another thing is occasionally you get this stringy stuff here and uh, you can just pull that off but uh, the problem I ran into is while it was printing it was actually getting into the fan on the extruder head uh, and then actually causing the fan to stop. So had to abort some prints because of that and uh, sometimes it actually even uh, broke off the strand and pulled it up in there and got tangled up so that's probably going to be a pretty big problem uh, this is a wrench from earlier actually turned out pretty well uh, it is supposed to be able to move but uh, this isn't the normal scale that I printed it at but I can see that uh, there's a chance that it could move if it was printed at the right resolution. So, uh, but 
for the most part some of these came out pretty decent some of them not so good so hit and miss for now one last thing to point out it looks like it's showing up there is there's holes where uh, well the where the hole is supposed to connect to, connect to the face here but uh, it's actually barely connected at all uh, there's no infill in this I'm not sure why that's not a bigger problem I can feel that it gives quite a bit but uh, pieces of the raft are actually stuck to this one and I think that's the only thing holding it on uh, to that center hole there the other side seems to have come out quite a bit better, but it's, you can still see that it's uh, thin in those spots. And again, in this corner down here, it's uh, pretty thin, and then there's a, some pretty small holes. Nothing that's going to be a major problem.